already know our spot dense station to be used in the forest or in the field. This is a spot dense station to be connected to the PC. To use our readout station we have some nice and interesting programs on the PC such as Spotlight Config. Let's have a look. We want to show you how to work with our service program SI Config. On my desk we have two different readout stations. This is a readout station with a serial port and this is a readout station with a USB connector. We have two field stations, PSF8, a spotted end car, a spotted end service off stick and a coupling stick. First you have to connect your readout station with the computer. If your computer features a serial port, then you can directly connect the station with the computer. Most of the computers nowadays only feature USB port. That's why I will connect this station to the computer. It's plugged in and now I'm going to start our service program Spotted End Config. Model and config is started and the program window is divided into three parts. On the right hand side we have a monitor window, on the left top side we have a readout window, on the left down part we have a right window and then we have a window apart with some status information. First, let's read out properties and settings of this station. This station is directly connected to the computer. Select Direct from this menu. Remove Direct. Direct is a normal, is a normal setting state. We check out if the station is connected to the correct COM port. We have a COM port setting menu. OK, COM7, spot dense station is detected. OK, and now let's read out the station settings by pressing the green button. It's quickly done in that way. And we see some interesting properties. Station features firmware 565. We have a serial number 75503. And the station was produced in January of 2006. Yeah, at the time of this uh, video production, it's now about yeah, four years old. Station has a functionality to, to, to work as a station to read out spotted end cards and code number is 10. How to change station settings? It's quite easy. We want to have that this is station with code number 11. Uh, it should work just for two minutes and working mode is read spot ident cards in that way and now we're going to write the new settings into the station. The warning should the master station really be programmed? Yes we want to do that. Okay the beep indicates reprogramming and the new settings are uh, directly written in the readout window. That's quite easy. Next question, how to change station settings if the station is not directly connected but inductive coupled. Inductive coupled in that way. In that way, station first should be activated from standby mode into active mode by using service off stick. Service off stick is indicated on station's service display. I place the station in in, on top of the readout station, hole to hole, hole to hole, and the station I'm interested in is not di direct connected but remotely. And now I read station settings, also quickly done, code number 104, software again 565, working time 15 minutes. Everything can be changed. At the moment we say it still should be stay, code number 104, it should be stay an ordinary control station, 
but working time now should be 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 3.0. So, and now by pressing the right, right button, we will program the new settings into the stations. Okay, and again, it's indicated by beep. Very easy, very quickly done. Our stations in the spot event system are completely transparent. You can program every function, every code number, every property in every station. Simply by using program spot event config. The spot event system is an identification system working in real time and uh, storing data both in the chip and in the station. We produce a data record and now we want to read out the data record from station's backup memory. This is a useful feature for verification of system properties. Uh, you can easily make a cross-check. Place the station on top of the master station. Check out, read out direction, directly or remote. It's a remote, uh, remotely connected station. And here we have a simple read out station's backup memory. Press the button, OK. And we just have this one punch we just produced, card number and date, it's about 4 o'clock p.m. And uh, we have just one record stored in station's backup memory. Let's produce a second one. Okay. Read out station's backup memory again. Two records in station's backup memory. Very easy. Of course, you can also use SI config to read out the data stored in the spot event cards. Station is direct connected, and here we have a simple readout spot event cards. Start the readout symbol, we have a simple screen, a form, and the data read out are now written into the chip. The data are stored in this form line by line and you see all the data of the card, you see all the data in the card, the variable data from the stamp and uh, we have a useful feature right mouse clicking quick view here yeah? and then we have uh, all the data stored in the card at one look in this form. Okay. As I config features much more good and advanced things you can use to configure the system. You are invited to download the program from our website, to connect the station uh, to your computer and explore what Spot Ident is. Thank you. Spot Ident. Make the most of your sport.